Okay, that's not cool. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm chilling right now in creative, and I'm gonna do it because I have to do it. Um, I was just cruising along looking for something, and a freaking seagull came and stole my lunchbox. I'm thousands of blocks away from base right now. Thousands of blocks away from base right now. Um, that's not cool. That's not cool and not only that i've legit sitting here trying to shoot kill and make sure that none of them sneak and seagulls lived and did i get my lunchbox back no i didn't get my lunchbox back matter of fact i was having a hard time even hitting the suckers with an arrow for whatever reason they were pushing the arrows or throwing the arrows back something's up whatever i'm sorry i'm going to cheat my lunchbox back in and i'm going to fill it with food Yay, we're here, finally. Holy cow, get me out of this thing. Yep, that's what I've been looking for for the last hour. Hello, everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to the uh, Engineer's Life 2 and probably some of the little funny thing that you might just seen. So I am going to just full out and out admit that I cheated all of that food in for now because of a stinking seagull. Yes, a seagull. A seagull stole all my food, which to include at this point in time, he left that and he took my lunchbox, the entirety of my lunchbox, every single thing that I brought all the way over here. So I cheated it back in. I apologize. I'm not going to apologize. I think that's a that's something that needs to be put on a thing. Anyhow, we are out here wandering around and have been wandering around because we needed to find one of these. We needed to find one of these. I am not going to mine all of the clay and all of the terracotta that is going to be required for all of the terracotta things that we're going to need. So this right here, regular old terracotta, I'm not going to mine it for all of them. Or I'm not going to, gr basically, I'm not going to cook all of our clay that we find into various things until we get one of those clay supplies going. So I decided I was going to come over here mainly because of the fact that I want that right there and this stuff. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, for the next however long I feel like is I'm going to wear out a couple of pickaxes mining a bunch of terracotta up to include this color terracotta and the, I think it's going to be black terracotta. This stuff right here, shingled slab, shingled stuff. Where is it? Black roof, 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 roof. I'm looking for the gray stuff, which hopefully we can get a hold of, maybe, which is just that stuff right there, which I'm hoping is over on the wall over here. And I want some of this stuff, which again, I'm hoping some of this we're going to run into. So that's what I'm going to do for a little bit. And I will see you guys in a little while. <music> I think for the moment we've got a nice deal. What I did was I kind of wandered around a little bit and kind of hoped to find a little bit of something else. But we swam into this area and I kind of mined that little section flat and then kind of worked over here a little bit and then ran over the top of this whole general area. I was actually hoping that we might run into something a little bit higher than what we got, but... I am not 100% concerned about it at this point. I think we're going to be doing just fine. I might actually go back up there and check that spot right there. That might be a big pile of gray. Uh, it's getting close to dark, and I did find what I wanted. I happened to just kind of come over here and look down. Actually, I found one of those signposts out in the middle of this thing, pointed us to this nice little village here, which means I can get back and forth fairly simply since I was an idiot and forgot wild flax. What can I do with this? I don't know. Maybe we can grow string with that, right? Uh, not like we don't have a bunch of other things. So let's go take a, a nap. And then we're going to go take a look at a couple of other things. And we're going to go boink. And we're going to go... No, I want to change the name on this one to... Uh, terracotta. 
Perfect. Done. There, and new base. Now, part of the reason why I was concerned about this is because of the fact, again, it, in order to make clay, I mean, just clay is going to be something that we're going to be using a lot for decoratory things. Uh, I'm looking at the ground mainly because of the fact we've been, I've been kind of busy doing a couple of things. So let's go outside and take a look at what we're coming up with slowly but surely. So I've kind of gone ahead and fleshed out some of the general idea of what I want for the outside of this to look like. Some of the sides are going to have odd numbered windows. Some of the sides are going to have connected like little pillars and things and stuff. Um, I'm going to add another, you know, I, I'm I love it. It's such a pain in the butt. I'm, I'm I'm about to remove that mod as well. The the little thing that happened earlier today that you guys weren't there when I was doing it, the unfortunately of running into a seagull. If you're playing this pack, stay the hell away from seagulls. Seriously. But uh we're gonna continue to kind of fool around with this. Again, this is gonna be a long term process of me just kind of coming up with an idea and a decoration on how I want to do things. And I think I'm coming up with something I like. Uh I'm gonna do something like this, probably around the outside of the majority of it. Um, we will likely use stairs in a few places as well. Plus, I'm not exactly finished doing, like, the jutting out of various parts. So, like, we'll probably do another pillar or something like here. This is just the first floor. Um, half of this building, likely. So, like, I think what's probably going to happen is about right here... We're going to have like a little, this is why I was out here doing this mainly, so let's kind of do this anyway. Um, what I was kind of doing before we get into the next step, I actually probably should go over here and look. The The big other thing that I think I'm going to need to do with this pack for certain is it's going to need a chunk loader. I spend way too much time away from base to not have a chunk loader, and as far as I can tell, we don't have one. So the other thing I'm going to have to go do is once we get done playing today, I'm going to have to go fill my lunch box, box back up full of food. So let's see. I wanted to play with this stuff. And if I put this stuff in here, that's not a wood cutter. It's the other one. It's the stone cutter. Where did it go? That one. Bench saw? Stone cutter. Yes. All right. So that'll actually give me a decently light gray colored roof i want a couple of these so we'll take like eight of them and a couple of these we'll take eight of them too and i don't think see there's peaks and there's other covers and there's kinds of neat cool stuff like that plus there's whatever this stuff is um hey scroll back up um i want to see what one of those looks like and then we can go play with this a second because that's this may go into a couple of rooms, especially the, the lower rooms like this one. There aren't going to be any windows. I mean, there might be windows back there, but there's not going to be any massive windows in this one. So the roof on this might actually get like some skylights and stuff in it. But let's see if this is going to look decent or if I'm going to have to make some black stuff, the, the black gray or black, whatever it is there's some light gray roofs, grooves and some gray roofs so that that and this 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 and then like on sections like this possibly we may do whoop eh, fall down up Uh, where are the rest of my scaffolds? I put them in the thing. I got to remember you can just slide down them. I'm not used to using those scaffolds. They're, they're, they're fantastic. So much better than some of the other stuff. So let's see here. Click, 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 click. I mean, it's, it's Minecraft. It, it's still kind of wonky anyway, but still it does work reasonably well. Uh, so the peak top will have a peak on it with that other bar. What does these look like? Cause I think what we're going to do is something... Can I do this? No, you're going to place wrong. I remember having a lot of fun fighting these and also fighting the fact that that long reach is just uh, getting a little annoying. I, I need a button to be able to shut it off is I think the thing that I want. I need a button to be able to actually shut the long reach off because it is so annoying. Can I do... You know, it'd be nice if you could put them down and then they'd fall down from the ground. Oh, wow. Well, maybe the long reach is nice at that point. Um... Can you get on top of the scaffolding and then go like this? Nope. 
can I do something like this or is it going to be a royal pain? Yeah, I figured you were going to be a royal pain. So that means it probably wants to be put like this. No? How, how, how I do? How I do? Like this? Okay. And, whoops, where are we? That might be the color I want. I mean, that, that might be pretty close. It's either going to be that or it's going to be the gray ones. Uh, it, I love how you spell gray tw two different directions. It's either going to be that or it's going to be these, right? No, not those these right here those colored ones right there so that gray roof unfortunately is gray terracotta which is going to be gray dye which we can craft we're just going to have to go get some stuff and we get gutters we get all kinds of ceilings i don't know if i'm going to use the gutters but um i kind of want to go for something the the roof roofing i want it to either be about that color or a little darker can i don't don't go down it let's go over here and see how far this will let us put it down Okay. I don't know. That doesn't look bad at all. Nope. Don't go through it. Come up on top. No. On top. Yeah, I think I'll deal with this. So there's going to be more gray happening. Um, these pillars are probably going to get changed out a little bit for how the actual design goes. But we're just going to go up from here. So this front section is going to be like a little foyer area. This or foyer. This is going to be the entrance. This is where we're going to just, you're going to walk into the factory and then walk into the factory uh, or this building. That section over there likely will be at least another story tall of that height so that we can have other things above it. The central portion behind this front is going to be at least another three stories, like I said, way up there. And this section may be just that size. It may just not get any taller than that. I think that's probably going to be the roof level right there. And the back portion back there may go another two or three. Just depends on what I feel like. So let's get off of this thing, and we can kind of start playing around with some of the other stuff that I wanted to do today. And here's the fun part. Let's see. I got to go boop and boop. And boop. And cool. Got them all picked up. So I can take these out. I will play around with that later at a later on date. We're just kind of goofing around trying to make sure we have a little bit of other things done. I've been cooking some steel and running some coal coke and doing some various things. And, of course, building the walls up around the outside of the base so that if something does decide to come in here and bother us, we don't have to worry about it. The only thing I want to really look at is doors. You know, I don't know why this happens, and that's really annoying. There's getting to be a few things here, slowly but surely, that this pack is starting to aggravate me with. So, let's see. What do we get? Do we get any really fancy doors we can put out front? I mean, we got the embellished craft. We might actually use some of these sturdy doors. Uh, steel plate, steel door, bolt. Is this all steel? Yeah, that can wait for a little while. We got other things we got to make out of steel. Uh, white garage doors. Garage doors might be something we could do in a few places. I mean, that, that's not a terrible thing to look at. Another right door. I can't believe there's such an animal. Ouch. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. What is that? Old industrial wood door. This is old industrial wood blocks. Can I make two of them? Now, this might look a little weird because this is the direction that it is but and then do this no please tell me you guys will place in the same area and then we can do a a central pillar kind of thing maybe or i do something else but anyhow uh cool well let's take a nap and then get on with the rest of the episode
Alrighty then, nap taken, got a few things sorted out, and then I realized that I needed to do some more work in here, so I did a little bit more work. So let's talk about what we're going to actually kind of work on today. We've started doing progresses towards finding resources. So we do know what's local to us, and we do know what's around. Uh, we have some of the necessary needed things close to us. So what I did go ahead and do uh, right, right there in that little short break is I ran some wiring over to here, and I went and hooked these two machines back up because I didn't have them hooked up. I currently have, I, I screwed up and let this thing make a whole bunch of latex. So now I have to wait for this to fill up with a little bit of latex. We're gonna need a couple of buckets of it, I do believe, to do what we need to do. But all I did back here for the moment, this is all very, very temporary, is I have a, a little witty uh, infinite water source here that's gonna supply water to that thing. And the fluid extractor setup thing that I have going right here. Uh, apparently these things can take upgrades too, and there are speed upgrades and I'm going to maybe probably look at doing those. The problem with the speed upgrades again, is it takes a bucket of latex and we need a couple of buckets of latex for a project that we are going to work on today. So, uh, going along with all of that stuff, this is going to be kind of one of those long roundabout kinds of processes is we have to kind of keep pushing this direction. And unfortunately I know we did this in levitated. We're going to have to do diesel generators, at least for a small period of time in this pack before we can start getting to get something a little better. Uh, we do, I should say a little better, a lot better. We do have all of the steam turbine stuff. Uh, we do have a bunch of cool stuff. I think we have a steam turbine, right? Steam turbine, steam engine. Was is das? Can I play with these? Hang on a minute. Um, <laughs> just never mind. We do have um, extreme reactors. We do have some of the other stuff. I think we, I thought we had it. Where's my box? Where's my book? Where is my book? Oh, I love myself for hiding things from myself. Hey, self, where did you put your book? There it is. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, I thought we had it. No, we just have oil processing. Why would I need oil processing if I don't want to run it through anything major? I mean, oil processing will give us a bunch of cool stuff, but again, why do I need to do oil processing if I'm going to need to do anything other than what we had? Long story short, we're going to have to do the diesel generators and the generational beginnings of diesel generators, at least with this pack, is going to be plant run based diesel to biodiesel. So biodiesel or the same process we're doing currently in another pack which you make in a refinery with either seed oil and ethanol or gasoline and biofuel which i'm assuming is going to be something we could possibly run seed oil creosote oil that's a good way to get rid of that that's cool um i'm pretty sure there's another way of getting that but it doesn't really matter there there are various other ways we can do power i mean we can do power with the resourceful generator i think there's another generator over here called something like biofuel generator i can't even click that it doesn't exist um i can't click any of those so apparently they don't, they're not there or did it just all of a sudden decide it is so none of those are there so all i can do is a honey generator and I can't click on any of these. None of those work. So they're either disabled or whatever. Anyhow, it doesn't really matter. We'll play with those later on. We're going to use immersive engineering's general way to make power, or at least that is going to be several diesel generators. We're going to set up a big generational complex again. And in order to get through all of that stuff, long story, short, too late, I know we have to have some kind of plant-based material to run through an industrial squeezer and an industrial fermenter we have to have some kind of plant-based stuff so what we need to be looking at and the silly thing probably is is we need to go look at this one these two machines right here plant sower plant grower plant sower plant gather plant sower plant gather so i was gonna do go ahead and just have you guys you know be hanging out crafting with you guys on this one but what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and just say we already did that and i'm going to show you exactly what i did because i kind of want to get these set up today so plant sower Plant sower is going to be something along this line, which again is a pity machine frame. Cheap, easy, done, over with. Every, you know, I really, really wish the back button worked. 
It doesn't work. But anyhow, and it's, you know, some piss and some plastic and stuff and things like that. The paint comes with this stupid flower pot because of the fact that you actually have to physically craft a flower pot using the little crafty clay thingy, whatever it is, that goes along with the way things go. Plant grower, same old deal, just some more parts, a little bit more plastic, another pity machine frame, and some gold gears, which apparently I can still craft. So I don't see the reasoning why I need this recipe. So that's cool. Anyhow, we're going to continue on moving forward, and I'm going to go grab those two guys out of storage along with the two add-on ranges that I made. Now, I made two of these. These are way too stinking big for what we want to do with those right now. So we're going to go ahead and play with a little bit more of those kinds of things. So the upgrades, I made I made the diamonds thinking the diamond would work. Diamonds are too big for what I plan on doing at least this close and this early. So we're going to look at upgrades. So that's not upgrade. What are those called? At... I, I made diamonds. Diamonds are an extra range of 10. I think we're going to go towards a gold or possibly the uh, range 7. So I think probably this is going to work a little better for what we want to do. And the reason why you need that is because when you place one of these machines down, like this plant sower for that matter, and you click its working area, it's going to show you how big it is. So every single one of those updates is going to add another block to the sides of this thing as to how far it can go. So let's go ahead and look at these. We need a couple of pieces of redstone, some glass panes, and some gold ingots. So redstone, can I, can I scroll out of this? No, I can't scroll out of that. Okay, one, two, three, four, glass, 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 glass panes. One, two, three, four, same thing. And then gold, should need eight of those. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we take these over to this machine, which hopefully by now has enough plastic in it to do it. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm gonna do something stupid. Will it just make it if I do this or does it have to be right? So you know what that is. Okay, cool, that's fine. That makes automation easier later on. And then we can kind of play with these because this is going to be a royal pain in the tail. And apparently I need to take a nap again. Let's see. Where is my bed? Can I take a bed? Can I sleep? Can I go to sleep? Cool. All right. So we're going to pick this guy. Actually, what we can do is we can toss one of these range add-ons in it now. And you can kind of see how much space it's going to cover. Now, those add quite a bit of size to these things. And... That actually looks a lot more than what it's supposed to be doing, but that's fine. What I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of be able to get these to work quite a distance. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so we're fine. The other range add-ons we'll probably use are going to be a lot smaller than this when we decide we want to start building mob farms. If we think we need to build a mob farm, I mean, I really don't honestly no if i want a mob farm maybe a skeleton farm if we get lucky i mean i haven't explored underneath the base i don't know if we have any spawners or anything close so uh that rogue like dungeon that we have over there i may uh figure out a way to do something with it if we need to and anyhow let's hmm let's pick something and let's see what we can do I just need some kind of blocks to line this out so that we can see what it's going to look like as far as size is concerned. How about we just do that? Can you not do this? Give me a couple of stacks of this. I forget. Can I do anything with these? Yes, I can. Give me some of those. There we go. It's got something to play with. And then we're going to need uh, some more MV wire connectors. So, because I'm out. This is going to be the pain. And I mean, this is going to be the utter pain. Is the fact that, yeah, I know. I, that's why we went and got it. That is exactly why I went and got all of that. So, uh, those should be enough to get us around. And all we should need to do now is just run some power to where we want to go. So we'll grab our two things out and go over here. So, and you know what, actually what I can do, I should grab that jerky and throw it off in the system over here. Um, we're going to build this kind of over in this general direction, I think probably right here. So let's get rid of this tree because he's in the way. Thank you. And an uh, elephant's having a, oh, it's one of those, gosh, I, I'm so tired of those guys. I am so tired of them. 
I'm just utterly tired of those clowns. Trash. Those can go in the trash. I need to save those because we're going to need it. So, again, I think we're going to build this possibly right about here. And I'm going to start with the idea that we're going to put the plant grower gatherer down and then figure out where the other one is going to need to go. So is that going to get into that line over here a little bit? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. That's fine. This is likely, again, going to be kind of temporary, kind of. And the reason why I'm saying kind of is because I think we're going to build a building for it right off. But we need to start gathering resources and plant materials and deciding. I haven't exactly decided where I want the actual... Uh, where I want the actual power plant to be. So we're gonna have to kinda start gathering things up while we have the ability to do it. We've got some free energy to use and I think this system can probably easily support this plus the other thing. So the other dude is gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess you could count it backwards. Yeah, right there. So the sewing device, or the thing that's going to actually plant stuff, needs to be in the ground two blocks and down, and it can have its own thing. And the first thing we're going to do, since we're going to be worried about making biofuel, is that I'm going to hope, actually, that this is going to be considerably faster than garden cloches. Now, if we need to run garden cloches, we can run garden cloches. I'm going to figure, I, I used to do this. This is how I used to play the thing as far as things go. Um, back when I did this originally in like 1.7, is you would use a couple of these really big farms, or at least several farms. We're going to likely put another plant gatherer on the other side of this, just so that we can get plenty of coverage. But for now, what we want to do is we want this thing to kind of understand what it's going to do. Biggest problem right now, I think, is that we're going to need to be able to feed material back into this plant sower somehow. Okay, so we're going to mess around with a little bit here. We've got this going on. I've got, I just stuffed a couple of seeds in it for fun. I'm going to have to get water spots in this as well, but I'm kind of sitting here thinking about this now. How in the world the only logistics we have are belts, right? All I've got is belts. And those. Now, it's not a humongous problem. It's just going to make for a really ugly system that I'm going to have to babysit. How in the world... Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to sit here and think about this. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do, I pulled the cable over here, and I think we're going to try a couple of things. I, I think the issue is going to be logistically, this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare to make work. So uh, I do want to look at this. Let's shut these off so I don't need them anymore. I got this off, and I got this off. So now hide, hide. Hide. Okay, cool. So now we can see. All right, so one, two, three, four. Right there. That should hydrate that. And then the same thing. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. So that should be good enough for all of those. And another bucket of water. And we'll do those in the corners. One, two, Three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Obviously, one, two, three, four. Now that should hydrate all of this. If not, I'm going to put one more in the middle because I kind of tend to leave these open anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just do this. And that way, that is still reachable. I can catch it, but it's doing things and stuff. All right, so we have to, I'm going to power it from underneath, which is the reasoning why we went and made all these wonderful insulated cables. Um, I guess I'm just going to go that way. 
and yeah there there's gonna be holes down here and all kinds of stuff so let's just cover this up so that while I'm working nothing comes to say hi and then we're gonna put a connector on you and a thing here and then that should be able to go to about right there no problem yes boop boop and up are you gonna work it's acting like it's working you wow What are you doing? How come you're not planting? Do we have any other seeds? Let's go to the other farm. We should have some stuff. I need some potatoes anyway. So starter base. I think we have potatoes or we were growing potatoes. Those are potatoes. I'm going to need those anyway, and then like we, we may do the other thing this time just because, uh, just, just, you know, just for fun. So let's see here. Those things should grow that. I mean, I don't remember. It's been a minute. So let's take a look. And out the front door. You should be able to grow this stuff. Mark, 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 have some potatoes. I mean, I hope we're, we're not using the, as much power as that says it is. Where is my thing? No, we're keeping up. At least that's not discharging. So let's go see what's going on over here. I expect the um, I expect this to use a lot of power. These have always used tons of power. So what are we doing? Why is it not working? Do I actually have to hoe all this? Let's get a hoe. We probably have one laying around. We don't. And it's broken again because I went somewhere else. Just give me a that something like that. Oh, that, wow. Aren't you special? I should be making steel tools then. Uh huh. Okay, well I guess let's um do the dirty and I'll be back. Alrighty, so yeah, that's what it wanted. It wanted me to go ahead and do those kinds of things. So do we have any glow of stone? Let's do a few things here. Let's get this hooked up, make it look a little better. Uh, actually, lamps. Lamps would be good. Lamp, 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 lamp. Lantern, 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 lantern. I have two of those. I don't want those. I want, I want a couple of these. Can we make those? Beautiful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set them on top of some of these wonderful cobblestone bricks. And that should give us a little bit of light in the middle of this little thing. And this again is going to be kind of one of those little very heavily temporary things. And I know I just screwed that up. So I'm going to have to re hoe that, but that's fine. Uh, boop. And we'll do that again right here. That there and that that'll work there. Cool. And then I might be able to just cheat that one since it's already there. Yes, good deal. And do this in one more piece of cobblestone stuff and thanks. All right, and and that, good deal. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this alone. We're gonna kind of mess around with it. I'm gonna go over in between periods of time, fill this up and let it run. So we are gonna have to cover the entirety of the top of this with glass. We're gonna have to build a, a physical greenhouse to keep this growing all the time because of 
the fact that we have the seasons mod which is probably the reason why these guys haven't done anything but this this does now this doesn't care about the seasons mod so it doesn't really matter so looking on into the rest of this mess i know we're probably getting a little close to the end of the episode but i do kind of want to at least look at some stuff here so um plant oil and ethanol are the things that we're going to be looking at making so plant oil is going to be probably produced generally through the industrial hemp seeds so we're going to grow at least half of this patch probably with industrial hemp seeds now industrial hemp seeds will make the most out of all of the oils and the reason why i'm interested in this is because of the fact that i think and i'm, I'm gonna have to read my manual again do we have it we do have the automatic lubricator. So there are going to be some processes we're going to use this thing for. And unless we decide we want to just generally speaking burn oil for lubricant, that's one of the simplest, easiest things. So I tend to like to overproduce the plant oil quite a bit because you can use the plant oil in this stuff. So it's going to tell you this. It's going to say a few things. Can we back up, please? Go over here. It should say you can also use plant oil. So awesome. Part of the fun stuff is we're going to build a facility that's going to take every little bit of this and turn it into something else. And I figured I would do it this way because in the other pack, we did it with the um, garden cloches. And I think because we have a different way of growing things, we're going to do this. We're going to use these two blocks several different times. This is how we're going to grow trees so that we can do stuff for later on as well because that block over there will plant trees and this block over here will harvest the trees. And I believe actually this plant might even do more than that. Uh, there sh used to be, let's go inside before we get eaten and then we can end the episode. That plant, that block might even for that matter be able to still harvest leaves. I don't know if it can or not, let's see. Um, plant. Uh, gatherer I don't think we have a book that tells you exactly what it goes but like the upgrades for that um, processing tier one these actually turn the, the processing speeds up where is it there used to be a thing maybe they don't have it anymore I don't remember but I thought at least one point you could um, if I do all that I can read the manual and I don't really care we'll get the manual out later but you used to be able to do a few things we can also for that matter uh, later on down the line play with these and they did give them to us beautiful so if I really decide that I just don't care for the fact that immersive engineering is the only way that we can get minerals and ores and things we can just simply mine them out of the ground using fluid lasers and ore lasers so that's pretty cool um resourceful furnace I need to get through and look at a few things we probably need to set up a few of these as well because these are fancy little furnaces it'll let you do a few things and we need to kind of just start looking through some of this other stuff like the enchantments things and stasis chamber I don't remember what a stasis chamber does I don't know. We'll find out. Anyhow, I think for now, guys, I, I, I'm going to call it. We've got plenty to do and plenty more things. I, in between episodes, I'm going to populate that up with a whole bunch of stuff and figure out how I want to do the actual work. I think the idea likely, and this is going to be the likely thing, is since this has nine input slots and the ability to plant nine different things, and we have item routers, Router, 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 this thing right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to output everything out of the bottom of this thing into a belt or something, run it by this machine with an item router and have the item router detect one direction or the other which way things need to go and put it into the machine and then deliver it either into the base there or into a set of storage drawers or something on this side so that we can actually kind of maintain things. Because we, I mean, the logistical sense of the word is the only other logistics we have right now available to us is this stuff. And the, because uh, we're, we're a ways off. We, we, we're quite a ways off yet from, from um, the other refined storage. So it's either going to be simple storage, uh, item belts, the, the belts, basically, item routers and stuff like that. So fun times will be had by all. So. I guess I, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.